Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. Uh, in this video, I officially want to announce the Delta Lake uh, Python uh, class or essentially a helper module that will make life easy for beginners or anyone who want to get started with Delta Lake. I have essentially published all the documentation as well as everything is on GitHub up to date. Um, so let me walk you over the steps. So here you can see, uh, here is the website. Again, here is the GitHub section, everything very well you know, documented. So again, anybody who wants to get started with Delta Lake, it is so easy now, right? I have you know documented everything, all the steps pretty well. So here uh, is how you would use it, right? You would download the jar files from this link over here and then essentially upload those jar files on S3. You would essentially provide the Python library path and the dependency jar path in your essentially glue script. Uh, you will copy paste the entire Python code. Uh, again, the, the Python code is here. This is the entire class that I have written about 170 lines of code, right? Now, how to use this is very, very easy. This will make life easy. So you create an instance of a class Delta Lake helper. You provide the S3 path where you want to create the Delta Lake or your Delta Lake already exists. Uh, then here I'm showing you how to uh, you know insert data. So here I'm creating a Spark data frame and I'm essentially calling a method insert override record into Delta Lake. This will essentially override the records into the Delta Lake. This will insert all these records into the Delta Lake. Reading from Delta Lake is also e easy. Now, as you can see, now you can say helper dot read Delta Lake. This is essentially gonna give you a Spark data frame. And over here, I'm essentially printing that for you. So again, things are very easy for you. Updating items on Delta Lake has also been made very easy. So there's a method called update record Delta Lake. It takes a condition and a value to set. So here you can see the condition here is employee ID is three. And I wanna set the employer name. Again, uh, I'm essentially setting the name. Look how easy it becomes for you now, right? So again, similarly, deleting items has become easy. All you have to do is provide a condition and then that would basically delete from the Delta Lake. Hey, do you, hey, guess what? Do you want to find an up, find one and update or upset? Don't worry, I got you guys. So here you can see um, record number two and 11. Record number two already exists on the Delta Lake, so it's gonna update that particular record. Record number 11 does not exist on the Delta Lake, so it's gonna insert into the Delta Lake. So you can use a method called upset record Delta Lake. This takes the key on which you want to upset. I want to upset on the employee ID, right? And I, I essentially passing the new Spark data frame. So it's going to compare the old Delta, uh, you know, old Delta like, um, you know, uh, it's going to read that. It's going to, uh, you know, uh, basically check with the new data frame on the employee ID. Wherever it matches, it's going to update. If it doesn't match, it's going to insert. All that is taken care now. Similarly, if you want to, uh, you know, uh, convert smaller parquet files into a larger fi parquet files, no problem, guys, I got you. Uh, run a method called compact tables and provide the number of files and automatically it will do the job for you. You want to delete and prune older version? Don't worry, I got you. You can run the method called delete older file version and this will essentially delete all the older version um, of your, uh, all the older versions uh, in your Delta Lake. Hey, you, want, you know what? You want to generate a manifest file for Athena? No problem, guys. Run a method called generate manifest file and now it will generate a manifest file and you can essentially query uh, from Athena. Uh, again, all these steps are given. So here you can see step one, step two, step three. And here is the you know example given. Here is the Python class. This is what you need to copy paste. This is what I wrote essentially 170 line. Uh, become a contributor. You can come to the GitHub, uh, you know, fork the repository, uh, add your examples, add uh, more methods into this and essentially make create a merge request. And then you will be a, a contributor. Here are some videos and tutorials that I have already made on Delta Lake. You can refer them, and here are the list of authors. Currently, I am the author. Uh, if you start, uh, you know, you know, contributing, I'll add you as an author as well. So again, this is the all the documentation given here, and here is the everything provided on the GitHub step by step, all the source code, how to use it. Again, what this does, this makes things very very easy for beginners or anyone who wanna get started. I had to spend countless hours figuring out the source code, again, fig figuring out the right method, figuring out the right jar file, had a really hard time. So this Python class makes it easy for anybody to A, create a Delta Lake, insert data, append data, write data, delete data, update data, uh, convert a uh, lot of parquet files into a, a larger parquet files, delete the older version, everything becomes so easy, and including generating manifest files so you can query with Athena. 
please make sure to share this uh, video and the code and the link to the people whom you think will be beneficial who are working with delta lakes thank you so much for uh, you know uh, listening to me and if you have any question you may post your question in the comments and please feel free to become a contributor add more methods improve the code and essentially create a merge request thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video